was going to say, I'm not sure. I've been on garage duty. How you doing? Good. Well, <clears throat> How much are the books? Okay. A dollar a piece. Sure, I'll do that. I've got eight no books, uh, a t-shirt, and a wiffle ball bat. Okay. About <laughs> ten. Ten sounds good. There you go. All right, thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Take care. Hey, guys. Today is Wednesday, and on Monday, I went to an estate sale. Really weird for there to be an estate sale on a Monday. It was this, like, little pop-up thing. It said pop-up estate sale, and they were only doing it for four hours, which is a really small window. I think they were trying to just get rid of a lot of stuff in the house. The pictures looked good. I thought it would be worthwhile, and I got there a little bit late because I had some other stuff I had to do. So I think when I got there, a lot of the stuff was gone already, unfortunately. I only got there like 45 minutes after it started. So it was kind of slim pickings, but I drove about like 35 or 40 minutes to get there. So I was really grasping at straws to try to find something to flip to at least pay for my gas to go to the sale. 
so here's what I got. I think I spent a total of $10, which isn't a lot. I got this Cincinnati Mighty Ducks shirt. There was a big box of vintage shirts there, and I was digging through all of them, really hoping to find like a concert tee or just something of value, but pretty much every shirt in that box was for some kind of like baseball or softball tournament, like local ones, and I just don't think those have a lot of value. This Mighty Ducks shirt is from a uh, defunct hockey team here in Cincinnati. And I couldn't find any kind of comps active or sold. So I'm not really sure what it's worth. It's even got like a tear here. So I'm not sure what the size is. So I can maybe get 15 bucks for that. We'll see. I saw this vintage wiffle bat. So I went ahead and picked it up. And I know these can have some value. Unfortunately, mine does not have value. And I'm going to show you guys why. There was actually a website that has all of the history of the wiffle bat. And based on the logo on the barrel... It'll tell you like what the age range is. It'll give it a rarity ranking and some kind of market value, which I think is really cool. You just, all I did was I like, Googled um, wiffle ball bat dating history, something like that. And then this popped up. So mine is a lot newer. I mean, I'd say like late nineties, early two thousands. I was thinking it was a little bit older. It looks like the older ones have these straight letters. I don't know if you guys can see that if it's focusing or not. And mine kind of has these like curved letters. So those are the ones to look out for. And they go way back. Like there's some from 60s, 70s. Here's a, um, a black one that goes supposedly between 90 and $110. But yeah, you wouldn't think, you know, basic wiffle ball bats would have value, but some of them do. And then here's some old uh, wood ones. So definitely keep an eye out for those. I got four yearbooks for a dollar each. I love buying yearbooks. I can't recommend that you guys should pick them up and sell them because they typically take a pretty long time to sell. On average, I'd say like a year. I'm sitting on over 100 yearbooks right now, but I just personally like picking them up. I like going through them. It's kind of like going back in time, seeing all the old pictures and everything. And these are all from St. Ignatius. Uh, from Cleveland. It's a pretty big school and I was hoping that there would be some famous alumni and there were some um, but nothing that really would like up the value of a book. To give you guys an example like uh, Sandy Koufax uh, the major league pitcher he went to the University of Cincinnati in 1956 I want to say something like that and I sold that book for $100 last year so that's kind of what you're looking for typically athletes or somebody really famous and the way I do it we'll come back over to the computer here is I just Google the school. So I Googled St. Ignatius Cleveland because there's a couple different St. Ignatius. And then you click on notable alumni. And there's so many for this school that they have a whole separate Wikipedia page just for the notable alumni. They've even got them broken down by like arts and entertainment, business, education, uh, sports. Like look at all these athletes that went there. It's crazy. Tons and tons and tons of, you know, a lot of really good athletes. And what some of these... Uh, pages will do is they'll give you the year that they went to the school or the usually like the year they graduated so my yearbooks went from uh, 78 to 81 so right away I knew that I had to be looking for that span you know so we've got Brian Cleary um, he went there best-selling author of humorous books for grade school children Martin Sweeney, former president of Cleveland City Council. There's a few names in here that, you know, are probably in those books, but nobody that I think is going to move the needle and really drive up the value of them. I'm going to price these around $25 to $30 each, and they'll probably take a long time to sell, but I do think they will sell. I do better with high school yearbooks than I do with college yearbooks, and a big school like this, I think they should uh, definitely move. I got this Don Zimmer book. And it is signed by Don Zimmer. Unfortunately, it's got a little bit of water damage. It's kind of dirty, you know, in great shape. Only had to pay a dollar for it. I did see um, a signed Don Zimmer book go for 20 bucks. So might have a little bit of value. Got a Chilton's Guide for Camaro, 67 to 81. I saw the same one sell for $40, free shipping. And I paid a dollar for that. This isn't really worth anything. I just thought it was interesting. It says, Collector's Guide to Hawkwind. And I think it is a band. I've never heard of the band Hawkwind, but... They've got a whole guide to like their CDs and everything else. Um, unfortunately, not worth anything. So not a great buy there. And last but not least, I got this Forgotten Glory book. This is a defunct Cleveland hockey team. And this is somewhat rare too. There's like three or four listed on eBay. And I think I saw prices between like $70 and $100. Now that's listed prices. I didn't see any solds until I went to Worth Point. And I saw a few sell between like 25 and 30 bucks. So I'll try to get 25 bucks for it. We'll see. Overall, it was not a great day of picking, but I still wanted to bring you guys along with me for the ride.
Before I end this video, I want to let you know that my wife and I recently took a trip to Barbados. We had an excellent time and she did a whole video just on that trip. So if you guys want to see that, it's on her channel, Be The Village. I'll put a link down below in the description. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.